Janet Gibson and Will Mahi are the latest ocean heroes to be recognized by Oceana Belize. They were awarded for the work that they've done, which includes the establishment of a marine reserve and the call to ban gill nets. Vice President Janelle Chanona tells us why the recipients came out on top from a pool of 100 nominees. It's really about recognizing Belizeans who are dedicating themselves tirelessly to the commitment of safeguarding, protecting, preserving, uh, sustainably developing our resources to ensure that they will always be there for the enjoyment and benefit of Belizeans today and future generations. Janet Gibson has been part of every marine strategy um, Belize has been uh, participating in. She helped to establish Belize's first marine reserve. Um, she has been integral to spawning aggregation site protection. It's just been an incredible body of work. And even though she's retired from her last uh, employer, we know that she will continue well into the future to play a role in the development and protection of Belize's marine resources. Will Mejia is from southern Belize and um, one of the people that nominated him, um, former Minister of uh, Sustainable Development, Minister Lucela Lamia, you know, really encapsulated it so well in saying that, you know, ocean uh, heroes should really be big dreamers and Will is definitely a big dreamer. He has these bold ideas about um, alternative livelihoods and he really helped to bring fly fishing as an alternative livelihood to southern Belize and really stressing the importance of everyone taking a stand to ensure that their children and their children's ch children can enjoy the things that he's seen. And he's um, been on the forefront, of course, with um, the gillnet issue. Um, he, you know, it pains him personally to know that we may never see another sawfish in the wild again. And that's just in his lifetime. And it's really been, you know, I, I know there's different ways of getting there, but definitely he's somebody that helps to keep key issues in the fore and, and relevant to all of us and, and we think both those uh, Belizeans definitely exemplify heroic spirits. Gibson has almost four decades in environmental work under her belt. She was overwhelmed with the recognition. I was totally overwhelmed. Um, you know, it, it's a, a, a special feeling when you win an award like this that really comes from your peers, that you're recognized by all the people that you've been working with over many, many years. It really, it means a, a lot to me. Belize has really done a lot. Um, if you just think of the, um, the network of marine reserves we have, it's really quite well renowned within the region. Um, however, we need to really strengthen the management of those reserves that we now have in place. We also have done, made a huge achievement in having a coastal zone management program. And, and you may have heard, for instance, that um, the government recently approved of the coastal zone management plan. Again, it's a matter of now waiting to see how that plan is truly implemented. You know, despite all the work that we've done, we still have a problem with um, the health of the reef. The reef is not all that healthy, so there's a lot more work to be done. Mahia, whose environmental efforts span multiple established projects and organizations, was not on hand to receive his award because he's out of the country. His wife accepted on his behalf. When I get the email, like I said, I just landed in Johannesburg and um, I was just like, wow, is this really, is this true? I mean, like, I couldn't like really believe it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, like I do this thing, what I do, I do it all the time, but I never really like think that there will, you know, there will be an award for uh, like this, then like I would be someone that would qualify for something like this. So, I mean, like I was just so stunned. I was shocked. I was overjoyed at the same time. In a first, the Coalition to Save Our Natural Heritage also recognized Froyla Salam through the work of Satim. We are very pleased. Um, the board, the community that we represent, um, we are very pleased with the, with, the, with the award because it's a recognition of the work that we've been doing. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we are a small community, uh, sorry, we're a small organization, and the communities we represent are very remote. And so for us to be able to get recognition of the work means that obviously people are listening to the message that we have to say. So it's, it's, a, it's a good um, recognition, so we're very pleased about it. So moving forward, is there perhaps, and, and I'm, perhaps pressure isn't the word, but is there an, an added pressure to say, you know, keep doing the fight that we're doing because people are noticing? Absolutely. I mean, our mandate comes from our communities and we have always believed in 
human-led development and specifically Maya-focused development. So for us, we see other models being developed, molds being broken to fit in with our term of development. So I have no doubt that there will be more of us to be seen in the future. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.